Uh, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, that was great millstone. And sadly, you brothers doing this thing in sincere and true thing with charity. And this is going to be uh, short, sweet, and to the point, you know. We, we got to deal with the shit, man. The Lord is fair, just. It is what the fuck it is. It's a blessing on being able to receive mercy through your house shy and get the kingdom and get rulership. After all we've done as a people, man, it's a blessing that there is an elect left. All right? Besides that, we're going to have our down moments, man. All right? It is what it is. And the Lord's so raw, he don't put too much on us. And we have plenty of up moments while we inhale. Okay? And I just want to hit on a few precepts, you know, just to basically put us in the mind to toughen up, man, to better accept uh, uh, this judgment. Because at the end of the day, we have to accept it. We sinned. All right? We got to take accountability. We fucked up. All right? So I want to start with this. Uh, now we're almost eight. <laughs> I want to start with this uh, Ezekiel. I thought I had it pulled up. This is Ezekiel 18 and 25. Yet yeah, you say the way of the Lord is not equal here and now, O house of Israel. Is not my way equal or not your way is unequal. The Lord is very fair. He told us from the beginning what it was. And <laughs> just like Adam, we fucked up. So now we're here. All right. Uh, uh, what is it saying, Second Ezra's? Let me grab this. Second Ezra seven and eleven. Because for their sakes I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now was done. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow. Full of sorrow and travail. All right. Things became exceedingly tough for mankind after sin into the world. Now, fast forward all these thousands of years later. Look how much more sin has been committed by us. You know. So the, it's a narrow path. All right. It's a place of difficulty we must walk. And we did it to ourselves. They are but few and evil, <laughs> full of perils, and very painful. For the interests of the elder world were wide and short and brought immortal fruit. So we made things harder for ourselves. As this, we dug ourselves a hole, man. But the water to Yahweh for Yahweh Shai, who came down and set up a, a, a ladder for us, man. All right. A way out. Thank 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 you to the most high Yahweh that had this plan set up so his son Yahweh Shai will be our way out. Meanwhile, we we going to have to deal with things and through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, hey, I got to grab this cuz one of my favorite precepts, man. It's really tough. And and what makes it tough is Well, I'm going to read it. You know, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 8. 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 7. Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. So Paul had an infirmity that humbled him. All right? And not just humbled him. It really it it put him into a a, a human perspective amongst t towards in the eyes of everybody else. Remember, they was ready to worship Paul. You know, they was ready to worship Paul. So Paul had an infirmity, whatever it is, that everybody else can see and realize this is still a man. As well, the Lord humbled him before the eyes of the other people. It wasn't even necessarily just for him. To, so he can be humbled in his own mind. It was 
So everybody else can look at him and remember, this is a man, a holy man, a prophet, a lowercase God, you know, but a man nonetheless, not the most high of the son. Right? That's not the point. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather the glory of my infirmities, that the power of my shiach may rest upon me. With what that C word, that's an idol, goes back to a Greco-Egyptian god. Name was mingling shit. So when Esau took over uh, Egypt, and they wanted to get the love of the, of the Africans, they put their image and they make some shit. The Serap is Christus. Fuck them. All right. <laughs> they could have easily put Messiah here. It's in the Bible and other places. They could have easily put anointed here. It's in the Bible and other places. All right. And that's where the word Messiah comes from. The Hebrew word Mashiach. And it means anointed. They put this idol here to trick you. All right. But he said, I would rather glory in my infirmities. Because it shows the power of Yahweh Shai on him, you know. Therefore, I take pleasure in affirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for Mashiach's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Because you know what? When we in our down moments and we fucked up or whatever we going through or our back is against the wall in this situation or whatever, you know. It could be any fucking thing. Whatever it is is going on. We going through these things and we overcome them and we endure. All right, we don't give up. That's just how we're shy working in us, man. And that's what makes it so much wrong. It's not us doing us on our own strength. We be down and out in the flesh, but through the spirit we overcome, man. Through how we're shy, we can we continue and endure. That faith is activated. All right, which is a gift of of the Most High, man. So that 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 makes it even raw, man. It is the Lord working. All right, in us, through us, on us, man. It ain't us doing it. Hell, we couldn't do it. The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. All right. So um, yeah. We, we have those moments, man. And th this is what we have to go through. We got to go through the narrow because we sinned. All right? We, we can't make us say, hey, the Lord snapped on Job for that. Job, uh, a righteous man, the Lord vouched for him. And the Lord still, you know, rebuked Job. Like, you don't make yourself more righteous than me. You can't. You weren't there when I created everything. <laughs> All right? The Lord's judgment is perfect. Even in all this hell with them, what the Lord is going to give us the kingdom. He didn't just, like they say in today's age, you know, he didn't just give us a silver spoon from birth. He made it fair. Every nation got their chance to rule and fuck up. So they can, so one, they know that they need a ruler. We got a chance to rule and fuck up so we can understand judgment, understand mercy and grace. That's our perfect. The will of the Lord is, man. All right? And hell, this, this hell even shows how perfect the Lord's judgment is. This Second Thessalonians 1. And 3. We are bound to thank Yahweh by Shami Yahweh always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. So that we ourselves glory in you, that the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High. Going back to the, the Ezekiel we read, the Lord ways are equal, meaning fair. His judgment is righteous in all things, man. Which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of the Most High. That ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer. All right? The Lord is a fair power. If wickedness happen, he must punish. So we go through these things so we can be worthy to get the mercies, man. So we don't have to get the full extent of punishment. 
Something got to happen. It's, hey, it's like your parents, you do something wrong, which one? You want this whooping or you want punishment? So the Lord has set it up so we can get our judgment but still get the kingdom. And we deserve worse. So we're going through our different shade. I, I, I think it was Yah. He, he say, uh, even if he still be his toe, he think, damn, I, 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 well, I done messed up here or there or something like that, you know? Even, even everything, man. We dealing with some shit. Hey, it is. Hey, we earned it. We earned worse. So we definitely earned it. We got to endure through it, man. I got to grab this Leviticus, man. Ah. Uh, let me see. Is it Leviticus 26? Leviticus 26, I must, I must look right past it. <laughs> and 40, if they shall confess their iniquity, Leviticus 26, 39, this proves reincarnation. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands, and also on the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I have also walked contrary unto them, have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept the punishment of their iniquity, well, how are our fathers here in American slavery? How did they get during 2068? Because reincarnation. How would they think upon these things in these different lands without reincarnation? Come on. It's simple. Verse 41, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I will remember the land. All right. So that's the big thing is taking accountability, man. All right. We have to humble ourselves for the most high. We, we are not the most high. We've sinned. We fucked up. We're going to have to deal with shit. The water, your howl for your howl shy that you won't leave us in hell, man. Plain and simple. And I'm ending with this. This Leviticus. No, Leviticus. This Lamentations. <laughs> this Lamentations 3. Mm -mm. 31 Leviticus 3 25 Leviticus 3 and 19 Remembering mine affliction and my misery The wormwood and the gall My soul have them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. So we, we, when we're going through this hell. Through the spirit. We know the heavenly father. We know why we're going through it. And we have the stability of the times. Which is wisdom and knowledge. Alright. We're going through our hell. We got to just remember this word man. We know why it's happening. And we know that. That uh, it gets better for us as Israelites, man. Especially as the hopeful elect. And hopeful means expecting. All right. Expectation. Um, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. 
It's a miracle that we had this truth. This is the Lord showing his mercy, man. It's a miracle Esau ain't wiped us out completely as a nation because he done done some shit. From chemical castration to economic castration, this devil is fucking with us every, every way possible. Crack should have de destroyed us worse than it did, man. The crack era should have been way worse. Crack with the hair run should have been way fucking worse, but the Lord had mercy on us, man. Yahweh is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. And, and that's one of the uh, definitions of uh, patience. Enduring suffering quietly. <laughs> without complaint. Enduring suffering without complaint. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. That don't mean it's going to feel good. No chastisement in the moment feeth good, man. You getting your ass whooped as a shorty. You you, it hurt. It hurt. Oh, it hurt. What your, your OG say or pop say? It's supposed to hurt. It ain't supposed to feel good. It's a whooping, man. So we have them ups and downs, man. But in our down moments, we still up because we can look at, at the salvation. We can look at Yahweh Shah. We can look. And remember this hope that we have, man. And understand why we're dealing with this shit. Because when we're down, we're strong because the, the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon us, man. And that shows our faith, man. Because we're looking forward to the end of this kingdom and to the, uh, our salvation, man. That's First Peter, first chapter. Read it. It's tough. Um... Verse 24, Yahweh is my portion, says my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. It is good for a man to, that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence. Yeah, he sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he has borne it upon him. He putteth his mouth in the dust, so he humbled himself. You know, Lay down and just deal with it. All right. If so be, there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach. We deal with what comes with, with this truth. For Yahweh will not, for the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. And Yahweh has shown that sign of his mercies in his son Yahweh Shai. That as he raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead, he will raise us up with Yahweh Shai, you know, by Yahweh Shai. For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. To crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the right of a man before the face of the Most High. To subvert a, to subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. So the Lord is going to leave us here in the hands of of this devil who's overdoing it. We sinned and fucked up. We needed to get judged. Yes. But Esau has overdone it. These heathens, what well, Esau has overdone it, man, they completely destroyed us. They want us to not be a nation ever again. The Lord ain't going to allow that. Who is he that saith and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Out of the mouth of the Messiah proceedeth not evil and good? So the Lord, he put hell on us. We sinned. We earned it. All right. We earned this. But also, uh, um, the Lord is merciful. It's a scripture in Ecclesiastes, man. If brother posted a comment board, that would be very, very much appreciated. It talks about if, um, basically, if the ruler be too overbearing on the people, the Lord see there would be one that's higher than they, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord sees the oppression and the wicked judgments going on. He allowed us to happen. He gave us to their hands. He, he also sees they taking it too far. He's going to deal with, deal with their ass, man. All right. Verse 39. Here's the point. Wherefore doth the living man complain a man for the punishment of his sins? We, that's plain. Just, that's plain, man. So that's, that's what... Helps 
Sometimes, you know, it's easier than others. Because we got such a great hope here. Sometimes it's easier than others to look directly to the kingdom and be rejoiced. Sometimes you feel, hey, like Job said, I'm going to speak for the bitterness in my soul. Like, man, I'm just fucked up. Not depressed because we got such great hope before us, but shit, without the hope of be depressed, those type of moments, just down. This is what that's this is what jump starts you. Get you back on your manliness, man. I this is what I gotta deal with. I sinned, I fucked up. Let me do better. Let me go harder. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me how about show me how I was shy. <clears throat> Alright? At the end of the day, where I fought off the living man complain, a man for the punishment of his sins. Let us search and try our ways and turn again to Yahweh. Let us lift up our heart with our hands to the power in the heavens. We have transgressed and have rebelled. Thou hast not pardoned. So we still got to deal with what the hell we got to deal with, man. But the Wadi Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All right? And you better believe Yahweh Shai is not a liar, man. He said his, his, his uh, uh, burden is light. So... It's not just downs, it's ups too. And we down, we got to remember uh, uh, to acknowledge what we've done and continue to fight. Call halal me how about show me how shy. Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone. And it's actually just doing this thing in sincere truth and with charity. Shalom, my Baba Ball.